team has played this year. Had a great game day practice. Uh, had a lot of guys off the bench play really well. So I was really proud of our team. You know, I'll say this about Western Kentucky and, and Rick. You know, I'm, I'm a Mississippi State guy, so I've seen what job Rick Stansberry did at Mississippi State. I know what kind of recruiting class he's got coming. And Western Kentucky basketball is going to be back in a, in a, in a real big way, which is, is great for our league. So we know exactly what we're going to expect in the future. But, but both these guys led us in a great way. And uh, like I said, we had more players play better today. I thought we guarded a high level. The changing of defenses bothered them. Uh, and then we got in transition in the second half. So that was a good road win for us. Current, it was close for a while. At the beginning, you guys got off to start to start shooting, and shooting wise, it Western was playing a little bit of tight defense. Was it the defense that created these opportunities for them to get shooting? Was the zone? defense early, that created those early opportunities for guys like Yeah, I thought in the first seven or eight minutes, I thought Western had the best energy. I thought they went out and uh, offensively rebounded the ball. You know, I think they, they bothered us around the goal. And uh, so I thought their energy level was good. Then I thought that the way, you know, Adonis Foote came off the bench, I thought gave us a big lift. He's done that the last two nights. Corey made some really good plays. Uh, and what about both those guys? You know, these guys here, is they, they're point forwards. You know, they can bring the ball up and play make. And Corey did that to end the half. But I thought that just the last four or five minutes of the half was key to the game. You mentioned Adonis, you know, these past two games, he's been critical off the bench. Do you see him getting a more expanded role as the season winds down and you need these, these energy off the bench? Or, or you know, what do you see from him? You know, it's just, and these guys will tell you, it's just about practice, you know, and in, in attitude and effort and practice, and his attitude and effort's been terrific. And when he's and when he's dialed in, he helps our team. There's no doubt it. They, both these guys will say that. So, but but I thought his role tonight was, was terrific, and uh, a lot of other guys played well off the bench. thought Brandon gave us some good minutes off the bench. He got in some foul trouble, but... But, uh, but Adonis is, uh, like I said, then when we made our tournament run last year, he played really well for us down the stretch. Corey, how far one do you guys control the paint tonight and, and then one less really easy to the basket? Uh, it was very important because they, um, they got a good player in Johnson who can really score it uh, inside. I thought we kind of uh, did a good job on him defensively. Um, I mean, it, it was real big because, I mean, once he gets going inside, it's really hard to stop their team. Reggie, can you tell us a little bit about that? I saw when you were setting the players up with Tyrese on the sideline, that zone early, really, but I think it was from the first media timeout, that zone defense really kicked things off offensively for you all. How are you guys able to get in a rhythm defensively so you guys can turn around offense? Uh, by just being aggressive. <clears throat> um, when we we pride ourselves on our 13 and how, how aggressive we can be in it. Um, we're a long group, so any time that we can kind of get out in the passing lanes and kind of create turnovers, which will uh, lead to the offensive end, and that's when we uh, play our best uh, basketball. Both finished with a double-double tonight. Uh, tell us a little bit how important uh, the bench forwards will be coming up. Uh, how are you guys feeling as the season winds down? Are you feeling that late-season fatigue, or are you guys post two double-doubles tonight? Explain a little bit. Um, I, I wouldn't say we're feeling any kind of late season fatigue. Um, each day in practice, I mean, we, we go out and our practices are usually like an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes, so they're not, they're not too long, but we, we get what we need to get done in, the, in that time. So uh, I, I feel like we, we do a good job of taking care of our bodies. If we need ice or anything like that, then we definitely try to get on that. But um, going down the stretch of this season, um, that will be a big part of it, just making sure that we stay on top of our treatments. You know, and I was, I was proud of X. You know, he's got a broken nose. He's going to have surgery on next Tuesday. So he's having some trouble breathing. And Reggie's been out really a couple of days with some really bad back spasms. But it's like a lot of college teams. Everybody's got some nicks and bruises. But, you know, that, that's what's good. When X gives us an extra perimeter shooter, then that's when the floor opens up for our team. I think it gives more room for these guys to play. And uh, But, yeah, I was proud of X because kind of, you know, hurting with his mask and the whole thing. So that was a, that was a good night for him. All right. That's it. Thanks, guys. Thank you.